Continuing from where we left off, there's the where we walk past, there's the toilets. A couple of things to ask. This is a new piece of um, turf that was put down by the council. Not sure why, so people could park on it I guess, because over there <clears throat> where you'd expect the turf to be. There's nothing, so it's sort of natural growth there. But when it gets wet, it's pretty ordinary. And then another little thing is this thing here. This turtle monitoring thing, with poles that have appeared by magic. Um, that's for another story. Someone's probably sucked the council in. Some techos walked in and convinced them to put these things up. I don't know where it is. Apparently there's data, and there's, apparently there's data you can look at. Um, Anyway, we're moving down Mary Kinross Park. Very nice. It's not all bad news. It's just perplexing at times, that's all. Nearly at the western end of, um, of Mary Kinross. And coming into view is a new sign. That sign hasn't been there all that long. Walking and bicycles end ahead. Absolutely right. Which to me begs the question, why? Why does the path end here? Now bearing in mind that the pristine pathway that's trashing the greened area behind Rifle Range Beach has been put in when it's totally unnecessary and yet we have this situation here. And it doesn't just stop with why does the path stop, as you will see. So we're coming into North Ennis Park. And there's not a pathway to be seen. This corner is fairly significant for a cynic like me. And I'll drop a photo in of a couple of campaign posters that were pinned on this corner. And I guess the significance is that this is as far as they went. So they were down that way, they were all over the place. But down here, there wasn't one to be seen. This is where they stopped. I'll put them in here. So there's curb, there's guttering and drainage. Up that way, there. But around here it's a totally different story. So we go walkies regularly up here. And it doesn't take long to realise that we're on the road. And we're on the road for a reason. Because there's no footpaths. And we're on this side of the road for a reason as well. We're about to get off the road or get run over. There are quieter streets, so you can avoid that. But one thing they all have in common is not so much what they have, it's what they don't have. Not a curb, not a gutter, and not a drain. In, well, there are drains, there are open drains. A bit like downtown Yangon. Although maybe they've got drainage now, I don't know, it's been a while. 
but there you go that's that's the drain there hard to spot that's a drain the other side of the road when it's pouring with rain just piles down there I won't walk the entire suburb, but what I will do is I will drop in a Google aerial map with a big red line around it. And you can see it all looks like this and that over there. We haven't had a lot of rain. If we had had a lot of rain, there'd be a lot of water in there. I haven't confirmed it, but I'm pretty sure that when you buy a place here you've got to pay for the culvert yourself because they're all a bit different. Some have seen better days. Some don't have anything at all. Some are quite flash. Little lights. There's a little bit of um, drainage. Not. Good thing it's not too warm, there'd be mozzies in there. Very decorative. They've even gone to the trouble of sticking the house number beside the car, but very nice. So they do vary. This is Logan Road, this is Wungara Scenic Drive, it doesn't finish here though, Wungara Scenic Drive starts again over there, just to confuse people and goes up in that direction. I could walk up there, there's no drainage for the first part but then the curb and guttering kicks in for the last few streets, so there's a bit, not much, most of it looks like this. We had, haven't had much rain, had a bit, not a lot. No downpours, and that's what people wake up to. So this is a new place. The guy's been working on it for a while. He had to put that thing in there, the culvert, so he's put it in. Otherwise he'd never get in there. That's what a few hours of rain does. Other side. Very, very ordinary in this day and age, I have to say. Some nice drainage along here too, as you can see. And it goes up there. None of those people have got curbs gutters. There's not a footpath in sight. So, that's where we've come from. I mentioned that you can drive in and park here if you wish, which people do and walk across Windermere Park which they do there's the pathway there which is very nice it's not all bad as I've said but I do think a bit perplexing at times so when you walk down and join the path down onto the footbridge like I said there's some good stuff good path's great Bridge, fantastic. Done some good stuff. A lot of people use it. Just got to watch out for bike riders who think they own it. Although I have heard a rumour yesterday that the bike riders might be getting banned because an idea, they cleaned up a 90 year old bloke. Well, they nearly cleaned me up a couple of times. And they've nearly cleaned up other people as well. I did witness one woman who was lucky not to get wiped out? And it wasn't some young buck on a bike, it was one of the old blokes like me. There's a few of them around. They think that the right of way is theirs. They, maybe they think they've earned it.
we're back where the end of the last or the first video pristine pathway almost concluded and this is the entrance to the beach it's a rifle range beach as you can see there's crowds it's packed they really need that second entrance So just a quick recap, here's the entrance to the beach. Aliens as they're affectionately known come and park here, taking this area here over uh, and to go to the beach, maybe go for a walk. So they could uh, park here. get out of their car, grab their stuff and walk down there to the beach but the council's decided they're going to do this and it's just a thought what they could have done was just keep that fence going straight across there and over there and stop them going down there in the first place but that's sensible and I guess it isn't going to happen, which is a shame.